30, Hurricane Fiona left much of Puerto Rico without power and more than 1 million without running water in the Dominican Republic. Damage just catastrophic across the islands and the images are prompting many people to want to step up and help. But before you start donating, the Better Business Bureau says be cautious. Scammers are also looking to take advantage of the situation. With more on what we should look out for, Kristen Johnson, Director of Communications with the Better Business Bureau of Connecticut. Kristen, thank you so much for being with us. Very happy to be with you today, Erin. So when things like this happen, it prompts so many of us to want to reach out and be generous and help in any way we can. But it also gives scammers the opportunity to take advantage of that generosity. So how can you tell which charities are legit? You really want to do your research. BBB actually accredits charities just like it does businesses. So you can go to give.org and you can look at a list of charities that meet our accreditation standards. And beginning tomorrow morning, we are going to have a list specifically of those charities with boots on the ground in Puerto Rico that meet our standards that would be wise to give to. And that's really important. You want them to already be established on the island because they are most connected to those people who need relief and they could get it to them the quickest. What do you think are the biggest red flags that folks should be looking at before they donate to a charity? Because sometimes there are these really telltale signs and other times they might be a little bit harder to see. Exaggerated financial claims. If they say 100% of your donation is going to go to the cause, realize that all charities have administrative expenses. So that is a red flag. An unsolicited text message or email say, I'm, I'm raising money for this charity. Don't click on that link. It's likely going to end up uh, leading to malware downloaded onto your phone or your computer where hackers can then get into your computer and steal your personal information. A and be very leery of crowdfunding uh, um, websites. They don't always verify who's on there. They don't always vet individuals. If someone says they're raising money for a certain charity, do your own research, cut out the middleman, look up that charity yourself and donate to them directly rather to an individual you've never met or only met online. Yeah, a lot of good advice there. When in doubt, probably best to take a minute and try to do some research. In terms of uh, donating, is cash, credit card, debit card, what would you recommend in terms of sending the money? Definitely want to do money over food and supplies, and we've got an ocean separating us from Puerto Rico. So logistically, it's just not feasible to get those goods over. You want to donate money so that they have the flexibility, those charities, to purchase what is most in need. Use a credit card that offers the most protection. A lot of times scammers will ask for money via peer-to-peer -peer app. Those apps were designed, they were intended to be used with people you know. It's one thing for your neighbor to, to collect a donation through Venmo or PayPal, but another if it's someone you've just met on the internet. So be very leery of that. Use a credit card. That way you can dispute it. It offers the most protection. A lot of good information to make sure our generous donations actually go to the people who need it the most. Kristen Johnson, Director of Communications with the Better Business Bureau, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.